Okay, so you have chosen the Slides Carnival option to create your presentation, and here's how it works. First of all, you'll notice that Slides Carnival um, looks just like Google Slides, so it's going to make it nice and easy for you to use. The fun part is that it's got a lot more templates for you to choose from. Now, when you're choosing your template, you can click on All Templates, or it's got its templates broken down into all these different categories um, for the way the template looks. So let's say I'm making a presentation for class. I'm going to choose a formal option. And then you'll notice if you scroll down, these are all the different options that you can use for your presentation. So there's usually two to three pages, or this one has four, of different options or themes or templates, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and just pick this one. I'm, this is the one I like and I'm going to use for my presentation. So I click on it. It's just going to give you some details about the presentation. All you have to worry about is scrolling down and clicking on use this presentation template. Once you do that, it should look familiar because it's going to open up right in Google. And you'll notice that it says view only. So this means you can only view it. You are not, are not able to modify it yet. So of course we know that means we have to go ahead and um, make a copy. I'll just call it copy. And once I do that, I like to close out the other one so that um, I know which one I'm supposed to be working in. And there you go. So you'll notice that it's got all the information inside the presentation site still. So you'll just have to go through and edit that to make it your own. Um, but it's quite easy to do. You just go ahead, um, this is Mrs. Draws's oops, presentation. And then all, of course, you'll have to do is make sure that you share it with your teacher. And that's it. I hope you have fun using it.